Dinesh D'Souza sounds the alarm, says that New York Attorney General wants to get rid of double jeopardy to go after him again. Conservative activist Dinesh D'Souza faced political persecution after he directed and released anti, the anti-Obama film called 2016 Obama's America. Now, he was indicted over illegal campaign contributions, which was obviously a witch hunt. Now, on Thursday, President Trump announced publicly that he would be issuing a full pardon to Dinesh. The, the New York Attorney General is so angry over the President's pardon of Dinesh that she wants to get rid of the double jeopardy, get rid of double jeopardy to go after him again. Dinesh celebrated on his Twitter account with an epic smackdown of the Obama hack who made his life hell, former U.S. Attorney Preet Bahara. Dinesh, then also blasted, Dinesh blasted the Obama hack on Thursday with a viral smackdown. Now, Dinesh also thanked President Trump and everyone for praying for him and supporting him over the years. However, on Thursday, the New York Attorney General attacked President Trump's pardon of Dinesh and others and called for the New York for New York to close the double jeopardy loophole so that the Obama thugs could go after D'Souza in a second strike. Now, this is a statement by Attorney General Barbara Underwood on President Trump's pardon of Dinesh. She says this, President Trump's latest pardon makes crystal clear his willingness to use his pardon power to thwart the cause of justice rather than advance it. By pardoning Dinesh, President Trump is undermining the rule of law by pardoning a political supporter who is, a, who is an unapologetic convicted felon. First it was Sheriff Joe Arpaio, then it was Scooter Libby, now it's Dinesh D'Souza. We can't afford to wait to see who will be next. Lawmakers must act now to close New York's double jeopardy loophole and ensure that anyone who evades federal justice by virtue of a political exp uh, expend expedient sorry, pardon can be held accountable if they violate New York law. Now that was from uh, Barbara Underwood again, a, a statement from the Attorney General of New York. Now D'Souza slammed Obama's hitman and political uh, persecutors. He says, bad liar at pre Beher insists my prosecution was in no way political, but now New York Attorney General wants to get rid of double jeopardy to go after me again, he said. Dinesh also appeared on Fox and Friends Sunday to discuss, to discuss the New York General's efforts to prosecute him for a second time. Far from uh, shuddering at this latest development, I'm actually uh, chuckling about it because I think it's very eye-opening. Uh, I have uh, maintained from the beginning that this prosecution uh, in my case was political, that it was motivated by uh, the Obama administration's desire to somehow get me. And uh, the other side, uh, the progressives, Preet Bharara, my prosecutor, uh, said, no, that's not the case. This is just civil servants acting, uh, for carrying out the law in the normal course of things. Mm -hmm. And so here comes the uh, attorney general. This is the highest um, judicial official in the state of New York. Yep. And she's basically saying, listen, the normal course of things didn't work. This guy got away. And now we got to get him some other way. So let's come up with a strategy for prosecuting people twice. Right. Uh, and uh, she, I, my favorite term is the double jeopardy loophole. <laughs> so this basic constitutional protection, Ed, has now become a loophole. Uh, and I guess if I had gotten off because of an illegal search and seizure, they'd want to close the illegal search and seizure loophole mm -hmm. or the Fifth Amendment loophole. So you see that these people will stop at nothing. This, it confirms that this is a political hit, and if they don't get their way, they want to be able to take a second strike. All right, so if you'd like to support the channel, do so by clicking the links in the description below. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. And be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below as well, and tell me how you feel about this report. Let's make America great again. I appreciate every single one of you. Peace.